In the near future, I'm going to be uh, part of a discussion on the uh, recent uh, statement on Christian nationalism. Uh, but for now, uh, just a brief comment on a clip from one of its writers uh, explaining it. In favor of all Ten Commandments. And not just all Ten Commandments in terms of, well, Christians are obligated to obey these Ten Commandments. No, I believe that God gives, that this is the key. On what basis does God give his law? God does not give his law to, uh, on the basis of him being savior of some. Rather, God gives his law to humanity on the basis of him being creator of all. I'll say that again. God does not issue his law as a moral obligation to his creatures on the basis of him being savior of some, but on the basis of him being universal creator of all. Therefore, the law of God is not merely given to Christian people, but it is given by God and morally obligatory to all people. So Joel's pretty explicit here, all of the law, which you would think would mean the entirety of the law of Moses, including the temple sacrifices and that kind of stuff, unclean food laws. Uh, but he actually uh, doesn't mean that. <laughs> I think he uh, really just means the Ten Commandments, um, although the Sabbath commandment has been changed without a command from God, and he doesn't seem to mind that. Um, but it should be noted here, God did not give the law of Moses to humanity. Uh, he gave it to Israel. A key component of Paul's objection in Galatians to the Judaizers is that the law that they're trying to uphold was temporary, only for Israel, and has now passed away in Christ. Jesus tells us that Moses' law permitting uh, divorce was inferior to God's uh, previous creation mandate, uh, that married people uh, should not be separated. The prophet Amos uh, holds Israel accountable for breaking Torah, the law of Moses, but the Gentile nations are not held accountable to Torah. They're held accountable for the breaking of something more universal, what some might call natural law, or what the rabbis called the Noahide laws. Uh, the, these kind of more basic uh, and limited laws which were given to Noah for the nations to follow in, in their reading of history. So if Joel means only that God gave natural law to the nations, then I agree, but he doesn't.